Hi, and welcome to my video. In today's video, we're going to talk about uh, how to export your conditional access policies into JSON files. So I've created a small script for this, so we're going to go through that. But first, why do we need to export our conditional access policies? So this could be because of, otherwise you have lots of administrators doing changes on conditional access. If someone does a error or something like that, you maybe want to revert back to an older version. Another case could be that a malicious actor is inside of your environment. You lose and you lose uh, your tenant, or you maybe all your conditional access is wiped out. So when you're back on track again, you can ex uh, you can import all of your conditional access policies again and be up and running. So that's just two uh, use cases. Let's dive into uh, how the script is made and how easily it is to run. So you can get your configuration uh, files on your hard drive for a backup. And then maybe upload it for a GitHub or something like that. Anyway, before we dive into it, if you like this kind of videos, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the like, like button on this video. Hit the notification bell on my channel so that you get notified whenever I release new videos as well. So. Bear with me, we're going to jump right into the script now to see how it's made and how easy it is to actually do the export. Okay, so here we have the script. Uh, and don't worry, I will link the script from my GitHub uh, right in the description of this video so you can download it. Uh, the top of the script is a synopsis, uh, how you can use the script, running it or doing a dash export path and give it a name for the path to uh, actually store the conventional access policies. A description, we have some notes, uh, and the script starts with uh, parameters. So here I define which parameters the scripts will um, allow. So it will be the export path, the one we are running on the dash export path, and can give it a path. Uh, by default, we are saving the, the condition access policies in a CA backup folder in the C drive. Next is that we check and install graph module if not installed. So we will check for the Microsoft Graph uh, module, uh, and we'll also define which scope we need. We need policy.read.all. So we'll do a if and check for the module. Uh, if the module is not there, we will install it. And then we connect to Graph and write uh, a message to the host by connected to Microsoft Graph with scope permissions. Otherwise, we will just connect to Graph uh, and then we're on. Next part is that we need to check if the path or the, the folder is created on the C drive. So uh, if it's not created, we will create it. And if it's created, we'll use it. Uh, and next is actually doing the extraction of the conditional access policies from the tenant via Microsoft Graph that we are connected through. So what we're actually doing, we're getting the, the get dash mg identity conditional access policy dash all. Uh, so we'll get all policies into a variable, and uh, if it's more than a zero policies, we'll continue. And then we'll, for each policy uh, in the policies, we will convert it to a JSON file and export it to the export, to the folder on the C drive. And if anything, uh, everything, if everything's okay, then it's okay. But if not, we get an error. And we shoot an error message error while exporting the CA policy. And that's actually it. So let's run the script to see how it works. So I'm standing here uh, in the folder where I have my conditional access script. So I will just do a uh, do a deal to see. So I will just uh, run the script now. So export cap.ps1. And we can choose if we want to do the export path or not. I'll just run it, do use the default path. Uh, and then we'll see that it connected to graph. The, the, the directory did not exist, so we're creating it. And then we're exporting the conditional access policies. So if you jump down to, to the C drive, uh, we'll have C, a CA backup folder. And here, all the files are, are here newly exported. And if you jump back again to the to the uh, to the folder where we have the the scripts running. 
So here we have the export script again. We can do export, and let's try the the export path CA backup dash edifix. And again, it created the, the folder uh, and it ran. So back to C drive. Looking here, we have CA backup and CA backup edifix. So that works too. That's it actually. That's how easy it is to run the export of the files. So there we have it. Files are exported to a backup folder. You can now do whatever you want with the files. You can import it again. You can store it up somewhere. So you have it at your own use. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, so you get notified whenever I release more videos like this. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.